During an interview with Maria Bartiromo on Fox Business, Donald Trump decided that he's not interested in debating Joe Biden in the next debate. Because if he can't spread the coronavirus, what's the point? Let's watch. I heard that the commission a little while ago changed the debate style. And that's not acceptable to us. I beat him easily in the first debate, according to the polls that I've seen. But I beat him easily. I felt I beat him easily. I think he felt it too. He wouldn't answer any questions, and he had the uh, protection of Chris Wallace all night long. It was just, I, thought he, I thought Chris Wallace was a disaster, but I beat him in the first debate. At the second debate, we have a never-Trumper as a host, but that's okay because I beat him in the second debate also. And uh, But I'm not going to so, do a virtual debate. So, you're not, so Mr. President, you're not going to do it because the CPD, the Commission on Presidential Debates, announcing this morning uh, that the second presidential debate will be virtual. Are you saying you're not going to participate? No, I'm not going to waste my time on a virtual debate. That's not what debating is all about. You sit behind a computer and do a debate. It's ridiculous. And then they cut you off whenever they want. I mean, look, if I performed as poorly as Donald Trump did in the first debate, I certainly want, wouldn't want to do another debate. Uh, secondly, the American people really don't need to see another debate between these two, to be quite honest with you. That's, that's where I stand on this issue. Uh, and finally, don't think that I miss the fact that a second debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden hasn't happened yet. And Trump has already declared that he's won the second debate. Uh, he's delusional, he is erratic, uh, he is incompetent, and um, he shouldn't be in office. He is a danger to this country and to pretty much every other country around the world. That's the same interview that he said Kamala Harris is a communist and a monster, and that Obama, Biden, and Hillary Clinton should all uh, be arrested, and that you might not need drugs or coronavirus. He is completely and utterly unhinged. Um, and every time I see stuff like that, I think over 30% of this country looks at that and goes, my dear leader, he's so- I'll die nice. for him, I'll die yeah. for him. Do you remember that? There was video of Trump supporters outside of Walter Reed Medical Center. And one of the guys there was just like shouting as loudly as he could about how he would die for Donald Trump. No, like I used to cringe when people would refer to his supporters as a cult. I felt like it went for some reason a bridge too far. No, I now 100% cosign on that specific word being used to describe them. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't die for anyone. Uh, you shouldn't die for the president. Like that's ridiculous and that's crazy. Uh, saying things like that is crazy. And they. And by the way, especially this president, who has probably implemented all sorts of policies that have directly negatively impacted that person's life. But who cares? I would die for the president. Great. Yeah, and, and but you might yet still. So hang in there, right? Because he keeps telling you coronavirus isn't a problem. Uh, so if you know you go out there and smear it all over yourself, you might find out it is a problem. So uh, I, I hope he does not get his wish. Uh, but that that's the kind of cult there. And so if he if Trump told people that that Kool Aid tastes great, and all the world's doctors and scientists told him it's poison, I think a giant percentage of his base would drink the Kool Aid. It's definitely a cult. They would kill themselves without question. They literally believe that Donald Trump knows better than all of the world's doctors and all the world's scientists. If that's not the definition of stupid, I don't know what is. So, uh, but look, in I this mean, look, case, all, go, go all ahead, I'll yeah. say about that, Jang, yeah, all I'll say in response to that is um, even in what's considered a highly civilized society, um, I just think natural selection continues. It, it's a thing. So, Again, like I, when this pandemic started, I would be enraged every time Trump would intentionally spread disinformation about this virus because it harms everyone, um, including his supporters. Who, you know, I might disagree with politically, but I see them as humans. You know, you want people to survive, you want them to be healthy, you want them to live good lives. But at this point, like, what am I going to do? I'm going to act as their mother. Like, I. Do what you want to do. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. What's frustrating, though, is that their actions continue to spread this virus, and that affects 
everyone's life, everyone that lives in this country. It negatively impacts businesses that have to shut down again and again because of the rising rates of coronavirus. It's beyond frustrating because if they lived in like this vacuum or in this like isolated situation and they wanted to like risk their lives and die off from a virus that they could easily prevent the spread of, again, do you? You believe in liberty, I believe in liberty, do you? But it sucks that we don't have the liberty to live our lives healthy and happy because we're stuck in this country with these incompetent morons who can't ever think for themselves and easily get manipulated by literally the dumbest president this country has ever seen. That's the frustrating part. You want to live your life a certain way, do you, but it sucks that it negatively impacts all of us. Now, now back to this particular comment within this madness of an interview that he did with Bartiroma. He's saying, uh, I won uh, the debate, everybody knew the, the polling that I've been looking at. Why does he say the polling I've been looking at? Because he knows every poll had him getting clowned, humiliated. Uh, one poll uh, had the debate 60 to 28, no 62 to 28 for Biden, uh, doubling him, doubling him. Uh, others also had gigantic leads, all said that Biden, every poll of real Americans said that, uh, or any Americans said that Joe Biden won. And he knows that and he's embarrassed by that. That's why the coward doesn't want to show up. But I have a suggestion for Donald Trump. It's it's a oldie but goodie, just claim you got bone spurs. And then that way you don't have to attend the debate. Yeah, coward I mean, through and through. Exactly, and, and by the way, it is pretty ironic that his campaign just released an ad attacking cancel culture. When Donald Trump, of course, is the one who just tried to cancel this upcoming debate. Here's the new ad, and it's laughable. Donald Trump want to cancel certain types of um, curriculum that has anything negative about this country's history, that's canceling. Um, so if he wants to talk about canceling books and culture and this and that, I mean, it's just amazing. He just pulled out of the next debate. He canceled his appearance for the next debate, which means that the debate, if he doesn't show up, is done, it's canceled. He is the king of cancel culture, he's the king of everything that he projects onto others. It's cuz he's like a mirror to himself and he's like, "Oh, this is what I see about myself. I'm going to go ahead and accuse everyone else of what I see in myself." He's yeah. the worst. And like I said, in the other part of the interview, he said, "I want my political opponent arrested a month before the election. I want Biden canceled." He basically would cancel the election. Okay, I want the former president canceled. I want the former secretary of state, my former opponent canceled. He's king cancel. <laughs> and still, he puts out an ad saying, Can you believe they're against cancel? That look at the cancel culture that the left wing is doing. They're pathetic. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.